They say every man can be replaced Yet every distance is not needed So I remember everything Of heaven that who put me Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode lesson of guitar with Gab. Uh, today we are looking at I shall be released. I almost said replaced. I shall be released. I mean maybe I'm gonna be replaced. I don't know. This is Definitely a better Gavin with a guitar out there, but um, yeah, I Shall Be Released, written by Bob Dylan in 1967. Uh, this has been recorded by lots and lots of different people. Um, the three that I'm going to go over today are going to be the Jerry Garcia Band, Bob Dylan, and the band. Uh, real quick, guys, I, got, I found a Jerry Garcia Band t-shirt. Very, very excited about that. Um, but, uh, so to jump into this, I what makes a song super cool is the chord progression. Uh, it's not your typical chord progression. It's not a one, four, five, six. It's not a one, four, five. It's a one, two, three, four. And I just, I think it's really cool. It's such, to me, and it's like a rare chord progression. Um, and so it just makes it neat. And so let's jump into, I'll, I'll go Bob Dylan's key, uh, I'll do the band's key, and then we'll go Jerry Garcia band, and then kind of some soloing over that. So, uh, for Bob Dylan, from what I I hope I listened to the right album. I, can, I don't know. I don't know. He's got so many. Um, he does his at least in the song that I listened to right before this uh, was in the key of A, and he sounded a little bit older in this recording. So it probably wasn't the 1967 one where he might have been younger and had a little more breath to him, but. So we're doing this in key of A, and it is just four bars the entire song. Bar one is our one chord. So if we're in the key of A, that's A chord. That's an A chord, right? Uh, so they say every man can be replaced. Then we go into a B minor for bar two. Bar three, we go chords three and four for two beats on both of them. So in the key of A, we're going C sharp minor to D. And then for bar four, we're just going back to our root chord of A. So, Bob's Dylan, Bob Dylan's chord progression. A. B minor. C sharp minor. A. Now, let's talk about the bands. The band does it in the key of E. So, first bar, E major chord. Second bar, F sharp minor. Third bar, we're going to go G sharp minor, A flat minor, whatever you want to call it two beats, then an A for two beats, then back to our root chord E. So, the bands. There we go. So now, let's talk about the Jay Garcia band version. Um, Oh yeah, it just makes just you say Jay Garcia, just put a smile on, you know. Jerry Bear just just makes you happy. He just makes you happy. So, Jerry Garcia version happens in the key of G. So, we start on a G chord. That is our first chord. Then we're gonna go to our two chord, which is an A minor. Now for bar three, B minor for two, C major for two. Now for bar four, we go back to G. So, Jerry Garcia band. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. That is 
I shall be released. Um, quick four little chords, four bars, right? Super easy. Um, three different ways of playing it. You can say, you know, let's start it off in the way. Take it up a notch to Jerry. Take it up a notch to Bob. There you go. Um, Nina Simone does a really cool cover of this as well. Um, that one's also in A. Uh, so it, the chords that you're playing for Bob Dylan should go over nicely to that one. Um, although I th think it's a, it's a little bit different. It's a little different in there. Um, but we're not going to get into it. Let's talk about uh, soloing here. First off, a little sip of coffee. Oh yeah, okay. Um, so the thing that I want to talk about here for soloing is this is a great song to practice working your triads on um, and practicing getting your chord tones in. Why? Because it's very, very slow. Um, and each chord is getting quite a bit of time. Obviously that bar three is where we kind of run into the Quick little turns, turn or quick little changes. Um, but yeah, so let's jump on in this. So let's start off with the G triad. And so that's gonna be seventh fret E, that's gonna be eighth fret B, and seventh fret G. That is a G triad. Right? We can play it like this. This is a G chord. Or like this. G chord. We're just taking those three. We got a triad. So next, we're looking for an A minor triad. So that's gonna be eight of our high E, 10 on our B, and nine on the G. That is an A minor triad. If we shift that up a whole step, that's a B minor. So we're at 10 on the E, 12 on the B, and then 11 on the G. Now for a C triad is gonna go 12 of our E, 13 B, 12 G. And then if you really want to, we can talk about one more G triad just because bar four gets us another G. So we can do either here, we can go 10 of our high E and then 12 of the B and G. Or we can kind of make this G triad up here. So that's going to be 15 of our high E and then 12 of the B and 12 of the G. And so what I, what I like about this chord progression is we can start and that was the triads played as chords as the chord progression, right? And so, and obviously that was way faster than how the song is actually played. So, what we can do is we're going to take like a G major pentatonic take those shapes and just use those to hit to change or transfer what's the word I'm looking for right? basically we're using those to create movement into the next triad because what the triads are great because you're hitting chord tones, you're hitting the notes that are gonna like really pop out at you. The issue is, is sometimes those notes don't create tension. So the other notes around it that aren't in the triad are kind of the ones that create that tension, right? So like if we were on a G, the G chord, and I hit the root note, G, which is the eighth from the B. It's gonna sound really nice because it sounds very nice. It sounds very like uh, we, there's no tension. We like, we found home, we released everything. Like we're just, what's the word that they use? God damn it. Um, dang it, I can't remember the words, man. Um, but like, it, you know, it's definitely like resolved. Everything is resolved when we do that. But if we hit the second, so we go to the 10th fret on the B, and we do a bend. Bends create lots of tension. And then go down to that G note. We create a lot of movement, a lot of tension. And then we know that, okay, we have an A minor coming up next. So. And 
And what I did there is I'm just, I'm still doing notes in the G triad. I'm hitting the seventh fret on our high E and then going into the eighth fret, which is the minor third of an A minor. And then I'm hitting the root note, 10 on the B, which is an A note. And you can kind of create another cool way of creating tension is with double stops, right? Dyads. So if we hit both those two notes together, 10 on the B and eight on the E, we play a root note in the minor third of an A minor chord. We create some tension, right? Now let's walk that down to seven on the E and then back into eight. And you can even put the 10 on the high E. So. And that's something that Jerry does as well. You know, he uses chords. He'll play chords as his solo. So you can even use these triads. as soloing technique, as, as themselves, right? Um, so yeah, there's our A minor triad. And then we know that we go up a whole step, we have a B minor, and you can start adding in those little chromaticisms that Jerry likes. So we're here. You walk it up to the 10th of the E, that's our minor third of the B. Or, Going back down to the seventh because that's a B note. You can do that, all right? So slide into the twelfth fret on the B because slides create tension. I don't know. I'm messing around here, but um, and then so let's see. We did. And then let's hit that 10th fret again, because that's our minor third. And then if we go to the eighth fret on the high E, that's a C note, right? We have a C triad right here. We have a B minor triad right here. We have lots of things that we can do. So G. A minor. B minor. C. G, back to G, A minor, B minor, C, G. So yeah, you know, use your triads. Um, this lesson was a little bit all over the place, kind of towards that solo section. Um, but, you know, just get used to seeing these and use your major pentatonic. Ah, I'm out of key. Use that to f ch as like your, your rails, your path, your guide to the next triad, right? Because that's where you're going to get that tension, where you're going to create those interesting sounds um, and then when you land on a chord tone your triads it's gonna be like wow this I mean that like landed home it landed in a perfect spot everything has just been resolved right so yeah guys that is I shall be released um, this lesson kind of took a little longer than I thought it would um, but yeah I mean that's how to play it in like three different ways um, yeah Got some Jerry Garcia band. I love them. I love me some Jer, some Jer Bear. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns, requests. And uh, hope you guys, hope to see you guys again soon. Happy jamming.